creatures all around you with the animals and birds, kangaroos and wallaroos, there's magic in the ferns, the kookaburra laughs away, the nature welcomes you, welcome to the bushland, the bushland's there for you. There was movement at the station when the word has passed around and the old cult of regret had got away. The man from the Snowy River. Yes, we're in the Snowy River country. Welcome to another episode of Trev's Bushland Adventures. Yes, we're here in a town called Corion. This is the home of Jack Riley. He was a, a stockman and he is the man from Snowy River. So, we're going to visit Jack Riley's grave very shortly, so we're just going to see him around and hurry on. We're going to check out the museum and other places, and also Jack Riley's grave at the cemetery. Then we're going to have a look at the lookout and some other places that were of interest in history. So, let's go. Corriong is renowned as the final resting place of Jack Riley, believed to be the inspiration for Banjo Patterson's poem, The Man from Snowy River. The town is the largest in the Upper Murray region and is surrounded by picturesque mountains, rivers, valleys and forests. Corriong's attractions, including the town museum, Riley's grave, Plales Lookout and various historic buildings. Due to the photography restrictions, I wasn't able to do any photography inside, unfortunately. So we've got to respect those sort of things. The Man from Snow River Museum chronicles the story of Jack Riley and provides further insight into the life of this high country legend. Learn about the pioneering life of the early settlers of the Upper Murray and view the variety of antiques and memorabilia. Highlights including the Jim Simpson POW knitted rug from the World War II and a collection of early skiing relics. Jack Riley's mementos and the Jarvis homestead, a 19th century slab timber hut. Galleon Park features a large wooden galleon sailing ship and other playing equipment. The park also offers public toilets and picnic tables. Walk through the park.
Riley was born in Ireland in 1841. Riley immigrated to Australia at the age of 13 and later became famous for his bush skills and horsemanship. Riley met Banjo Patterson on a few occasions and is recognised as the main inspiration for Banjo Patterson's poem, The Man from Snowy River. Near the Parish Lane entrance, there's more information about Riley's life. known as the man from Snowy River and that is Jack Riley and where I'm standing right here is Jack Riley and uh, he was a true he was a true stockman of his I mean he real horses and he was a man of everything and he roamed all around this country Lyle's Lookout offers a 360 degree scenic views over Corion Township, Thalgala Valley and Mount Mitamod. There are picnic tables, barbecue, rotunda, toilets and plenty of native plants and trees to appreciate. the distance we have is the snowy mountains. And we have here is the Curryong Township. And in the distance 
is Mount Mitamite. This is Plales Hill area. This is the summit. And of course there's a bit of a reminder of the audience behind me. Yes, I've got a herd of cows behind me. Of course Jack Riley, man from Stony River, and all the stockmen who were involved to round up the cattle. You know, they took all the they take the cattle up in the summertime. And when it gets to the winter time, well, they, they will graze in the high country. Um, while they're up there, they, they graze, cuts all the grass down, and then uh, during just before winter time, the the cattleman sends all the cattle down the mountains because the snow sets in. So, in this day and age, now with the government, they're trying to cull the cattle. On the high country, they want to close the, the high country. Why do that? Why close up the mountains for the for the cattle? You know what's going to happen if there's no cattle on the ha on the mountains? Well, you know what happened when we had those bushfires. Bushfires, yeah, they were bad. They burnt the whole mountains everywhere because the grass was long. And the vegetation was all fuel to spark the fires. So if we had the cattle up in the country, high country, the bushfires would not have happened. Okay, we have some signs up here that takes you to these places. You want to check out the labyrinth. The labyrinth. You want to check that out? Let's check it out. Now, here is the, labi the labyrinth. The labyrinth.
dan 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 Kuryong Memorial Hall and Gardens Complex is a tribute to the locals who served in conflicts which Australia has been involved. A statue of Hori the Wog Dog tells the story how an Egyptian terrier followed the 21st Set Machine Gun Battalion through the various locations in the Middle East and in the Greece and Crete. Before being smuggled back to Australia, in 1942 and living his life out near Corion. This is Hurry. His name is Hurry. Hurry the Hurry the Wog Dog. And he was transported to Australia back in 1941. He was befriended. Now we're going to put him down. He helped the troops, the troopers in the war camps. And he, he alerted all the troops and looking out for the enemies. He was a smart dog. Yeah, this is Hori the Wog Dog. Memories. enjoyed my video this uh, video today I enjoyed being at Coriong today now I couldn't end the video <laughs> I couldn't do the outro um, I've lost the footage <laughs> yes the footage I tried to do the outro in um, Coriong uh, didn't work out so I lost it so anyway I'm back home and um, I thought I'll do the outro right now. So I really enjoyed being in Corion today and um, I've had a good time. So it was a, such a lovely day. And uh, anyway, in my next video, um, my next episode, I'll be going to a different area. Um, we're going to look at some trains. Yeah, trains again. We did, I remember we went from on a railway trip from Yarrawonga to Panama. Um, that's on one of my episodes. So we're going down to Seymour, a place called Seymour. It's a town and they have a, a heritage railway museum, a, the railway museum that's in Seymour. It's an open day, so that'll be interesting. So it's on a Saturday, and that's where we'll be doing the film. Um, it's on a Saturday and a Sunday. So um, it's gonna be a big day, it's gonna be good. Some, trains, diesel engines, 
So, um, because that's the, um, the junction of the railway line from Melbourne to Sydney, where it branches off from Seymour the wind to blows the trees of the and mountains country yes. and the So, yeah, that will be my next episode. I shall see you there. Seymour. Seymour. There it is. Railways. Grand, uh, and railway and Museum. Day for nature yeah. is born. I had to go back to the bushland Where the wind and the rain softly moans I had to go back to the bushland The magic is calling me home Cold while the bears and possums live high up into the trees The gum trees, they're home amongst the leaves the cockatoos will screech in the valley of green The bushland is calling to me I had to go back to the bushland Where the wind and the rain softly moans I had to go back to the bushland The magic is calling me home Where the wind and the rain softly moans I had to go back to the bushland The magic is calling me home